This is my new Creality Ender 3 S1. It's here to replace the old Ender 3 Pro. The Ender 3 Pro has seen better days and uh, I think it's time to get a better main printer. We're gonna be doing our best to put this thing together and give her a go, so let's get to it. It's alive! <laughs> so, I've messed around with it for a little bit here and uh, I've come to the realization that the issue is the tip of the probe uh, can't travel far enough to actuate the probe here without our nozzle actually hitting the bed. If I use something to shim up the tip of the probe so that it makes contact first, it works just fine. So I'll just add some shims and then uh, we should be fine. Very nice. Okay. So now from here we can go and set our Z offset. So we're going to go to move axis. And we're going to move the Z axis down to zero. Now with the Z axis being zeroed, we are exactly where the probe thinks zero is. And so all we have to do is make the nozzle touch the bed to find the offset. So for that we go to Z offset. That's pretty well zero there. I'm gonna save this configuration. Very good. Now we should be able to print. I did some tweaking to the Z offset because we were having some uh, first layer issues. Uh, and we should be good now. So, I'm going to fire this thing up and uh, we can give her a test drive. So she's printing now and I think there's still a little bit of adjustment to do, but uh, I'll get that all sorted out later. Uh, I gotta get this thing set up to print PTG so we can test out our fi carbon fiber filament and then we should be cooking. So I hope you guys got something out of this, I hope you enjoyed and uh, I'll see you next time. Don't be a fucking sad sack, subscribe to the channel, alright? You guys are gonna miss out on some cool things otherwise. So I'll see you in the next one, I hope you take care, Bye bye